Designed from the ground up, the Diderio Backline Gear Transport Pack is the ultimate solution for players on the move. With more than eight specialized storage and transport compartments built right in, it makes getting everything to the gig painless and intuitive. Well, let's go into the fun zone. Like I said, you have an awesome pedal board and I just want you to you. take us through it and kind of talk to us about the layers of distortion. And I know you use modulation. I know you got like a vibrato pedal. So just talk to me about why you have what you have and how you use it. Sure. So I'll kind of just start at the, the beginning, which is obviously the boss tuner. And again, you know, it's, it's just a solid tuner. It doesn't do any fancy tricks. I don't need fancy tricks, you know. <laughs> Um, I have enough of that going on already. Um, and from there, I go straight into the Earthquaker Westwood, which is like a translucent overdrive, um, which I think on my board to death, I had the, the full tone OCD at the time. And man, this pedal, it's all over Love and Decay. Pretty much most of that record we used, I used the Westwood. Um, it's just really versatile. I love that I can control, you know, the treble, the bass, the drive, and really just tweak it to, you know, what I think it needs for the song. Um, and right next to that is the Boss Overdrive, the OB, the ODB3, um, which is the first distortion pedal I ever had, first overdrive pedal I, I ever got. Um, and those two kind of work together. So right now, the overdrive is more of a boost for the Westwood. So, and on the pedal board, you see they're kind of like butted up against each other because sometimes I punch them on together mm. and then sometimes I'll start with the Westwood or start with the overdrive and then click the other one on to like, you know, boost each other. Can um, we hear that quick? Like the, the combination and then maybe each one separate? Definitely. So this is the Westwood by itself. This is boosted with the boss overdrive. And then this is just the overdrive by itself. That sounds huge. Yeah, so it's, you know, the Westwood gives a little more crunch but then when I don't want as much crunch, I just do the overdrive. And just for, uh, I guess, kind of a baseline, can we just literally hear just the, the, the P into the OB-1? Oh yeah, sure, just clean. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because people will need to reference this as we go on and everything gets chaotic and destructive. <laughs> yeah, and and also to mention um, what you know, what you won't hear, but I hear in my ears, and you'll hear in the demo is I'm actually playing through a Line Six Stomp, okay. uh, which is a mini version of the Helix, and I only use it as my second amp. Um, and right now I'm running, it's just the the A10 SVT Beast, so it's just kind of I guess the clone of an SVT. Um, I used to play the Orange 212 with a GK 400 RB, um, but when you load your own gear, you know it gets a little <laughs> gets a little exhausting. Um, so I switched over to the Stomp, and it's it's literally just my second amp, um, which is cool for live. It'll be my my DI, and then you know my A10 will still be mic'd. So if anything happens to the actual amp on stage if anything cuts out or sounds weird you know in the house you're going to hear the stomp and it sounds amazing and i can hear it in my ears when we when we're uh plugged in well that's a handy little tool yeah and so and then you know that's it's more of like the mids you know are boosted a little more and then this is more of like low end okay the a10 yeah um so next um is the way huge swollen pickle uh, which is an incredible fuzz pedal. I discovered it when we lived in San Diego. We went to go see a band called Future of the Left from the Left. Future of the Left from Wales. And his bass tone, I was just like, shit, dude, what, what is that? And it was the Swollen Pickle. And 
I found it used at Guitar Center, and it's been on my board ever since. Um, and I, I haven't gone in and messed with the pots. I know some fans have asked me yeah. if I've you know done anything with those, and I haven't. Um, I love the way it sounds. So for me, you know, I don't want to fuck with something that I already like, because then <laughs> if I can't go back to what I was liking, then it'll be pretty upsetting. So um, it's just factory settings, you know. Um, and this pedal, I probably adjust the most throughout the set. Um, cause the sustain, the crunch and the scoop can all be dialed back or forward, which is really cool. Now, is that something you're doing because of each room reacts and responds differently? Or is it because you have such a dynamic use of the pedal? Both. So okay. I, you know, every room's different when you play live. So I, de that is a huge part of adjusting pedals live, but for the swollen pickle, I adjust it sometimes two or three times throughout a song so it's either crunchier or just bigger uh to fill in space depending on the song depending on what mario's playing uh we kind of do like a push and pull for each other mm -hmm. um, and this pedal really allows me to do that cool now will you use that in conjunction with other pedals like the ones we the two we already talked about or is that kind of like that's no. its own thing yeah, it's pretty much its own thing. The only thing I'll ever tack on is a little bit of reverb, uh, either from the Astral Destiny or the H9. But um, it's so fuzzy that any any distortion or overdrive added to it, it just it's too muddy. Well, well, how about we give uh, how about you give us a taste of like the two maybe extreme settings that you would use on a given night or a given set? Yeah. So my typical setting, um, the filter. I have it cranked to about one o'clock. Everything's pretty much at like either one o'clock or dialed back to nine, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, so this is like a typical setting for it. So that's a little little fuzzier. Yeah. For just bigger, more full parts. Sorry. I'll usually crank the sustain a little bit, but I'll roll back the filter, the crunch, and the scoop. Mm -hmm. Just so it's not really fuzzed out, but it's still massive. It's, yeah, that's a, it's a swollen pickle. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> right. So, and you know, depending on the room and just how everything sounds out, you'll constantly see me bending down to adjust that pickle or uh, that pedal the most. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah.